Hey guys, how's it going? It's Nathan here, Royal Masters. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm having an awesome day because we got some cool new robot vacuums. We got the Roblox S7, we got the older Roblox S6 Max V, which just came out like six months ago, so I don't know if I can call it old. But in this video, we're going to do a head to head competition. We'll do a mopping performance, we'll do the clean performance, we'll do navigation, all that fun jazz. And you're probably wondering, why in the world is my hair all wet? Yep, you can see all that water falling out. Well, I didn't just get out of the shower. I'll tell you the truth, guys, alright? So listen up. I actually was shoving out my walks, and it's like six feet of snow out there. It's craziness. Colorado is just crazy weather. So, if you live in Colorado, all you have to do is wait five minutes, and usually the weather changes. But for today, it's just snowing like crazy. The Roblox S7 will be released March 24th of this year, 2021. So stay tuned for the two-week review of the Roblox S7. I did get this, uh, for about a week ago or so. I've been running this every day, and I've been liking this guy. And the S6 Max V was my previous go-to uh, vacuum. So I think the Roblox S7 will be my go to uh, vacuum. With mopping systems that can vacuum and mop at the same time are getting more and more advanced. Uh, I remember back in the day, all they were was just a plastic plate with a small thin cloth and you just damp it and it just kind of went around. It's more like a duster, not really a mopping, but now these guys can actually mop and they're still designed for light mopping tasks, but with the S7, I think you can uh, do a little bit more and get more of that stubborn dirt and grime off your uh, tiles. But when I did the mopping challenge in my bathroom, I was surprised with the S6 Max V. Uh, you may notice that unique uh, mopping pattern. It did kind of spun in a 360 degree circle. I don't know if the uh, clip sensors down here were tripping or something, or some weird uh, navigation quirk with the LiDAR sensor, but it actually uh, worked in its favor because it was able to get most of the dirt and also uh, some of the uh, Tabasco sauce. But both the uh, vacuums did really well in the mopping challenge, and I was quite impressed with both of them so I think you can't go wrong with the mopping capability. So with this mopping challenge I was actually quite surprised with the results. The S6 Max V did a pretty good job getting everything minus the hot sauce whereas the S7 got everything minus the dried up ketchup so I'll give this a tie. Now if you run both robot vacuums twice they will actually do a better job and you're able to get everything from this mopping challenge. Now the S7 has a deep mopping mode which actually shuts off the vacuum and kind of goes over the area a little bit more intensely. Alright, let's go ahead and talk about navigation. Both the Roblox are really good at navigating. They're probably one of the best in the class. And with that reactive AI, as it's going along the path, it will recognize certain objects if you have that feature enabled. Now, one thing I did notice is there's not a huge difference between the two when navigating. I felt like the S7 did a really good job going around objects and not bumping into them despite not having that front facing camera. And with that 360 degree LiDAR sensor, they both do really good at navigating objects, creating maps, and going around your floor plan, going around chair legs, all that fun stuff. So I'm pretty sure you can't go wrong with uh, the navigation in both the robots. So both robot vacuums have excellent navigation, probably the best in the industry. So you can't go wrong with picking either or. Now, one thing that the S6 Max V has, since it has the front facing camera, is that live streaming capabilities. I will show this later in the video. But what's nice about the live streaming capabilities is it works both in complete darkness and it also works in uh, daylight. And lastly, you can communicate with your pets because you can actually send your voice through the robot and kind of talk to them. So it's, it's a nice little feature. So if you're into the security system or security devices, the S6 Max V might be an option. Hey, can you guys tell which one's the S6 Max V and which one's the S7? S7, S6 Max V? I don't know. But basically, the easiest way to tell is this little... Uh, pebble-like waveform. If you drop a pedal, it kind of creates this cool little waveform. That's how you know you have the S7, kind of like cool air vents. But everything else is very similar. Now, you do get the three button layout on both models. You got the spot clean, you got the power button, you got the home button. Now, one unique feature to the S7 is if you hold down the spot clean function for about three seconds. Child lock on. Yep, so your little one or uh, your wife, your significant other, won't go ahead and sneak out and play with your uh, back when you're not aware. So that's a really nice feature. Child lock off. And also the S7 has this cool little uh, indicator. I kind of hope they include this on every uh, later model. I really like this indicator. It let's know if it's charging. Also, let's know if it's running. And this is a multicolor indicator. So this is a really cool feature. Okay, let's go have the pressure sensor. I call it the Navi Domi thingy. Yep, that's Roblox exclusive term. Now let's lift up the flap of lids here. And you notice the dust bins. Let's go and uh, take a look here. Now, one thing I want to show you is the S6 Max V and previous Roblox do have the little cleaning tool here. Very handy for cleaning off the pet hair. Now, the reason why the 
S7 doesn't have it is because the new extractor block, which is all silicone, it's really easy to remove the hair, and I don't think Roblox thought it was necessary to include that cleaning brush, but it would have been a nice little touch. Okay, let's go and uh, check out the dustbins here. Let's spin these guys around. Now, both these roll vacuums have very similar sized dustbins. Even though this looks a little bit smaller, this guy is actually a little bit deeper in uh, depth. You guys can uh, notice that. So yes, very similar. So if I had to choose between the dustbins, I would actually choose this guy because look at the lip here. It's really large and it allows it to easily remove all the dustbin. Also, I could take like a little suction tool and suction out all this. Um, now let me look at here. You guys see it's kind of like a little lip and stuff that kind of hangs up a uh, different material. So it's a little bit harder to clean out. So both these dustbins are washable. Um, all you have to do is just wash them out and let them air dry for about 24 hours and you should be good to go. And the filter's washable as well. Okay, so one unique thing is the new S7 actually uh, pulls the air from the side here, not from the back on the previous designs and all the other Roblox models. All right, let's go ahead and do a quick uh, spin around with the robots. They're almost identical. They both have the decay wall sensors right here. Uh, the side brushes are both silicone, same design, a five arm design. And what's nice about it is along the edges, they speed up to help get the dirt and debris away from your baseboards. And in the open areas, they slow down so they don't just make a huge mess scattering the dirt and debris. Now, you probably all know that the S6 Max V has that front facing camera. And you guys are wondering why in the world does the Roblox don't include that in the S7? Well, my guess is they probably will have that, but some people don't like to have a camera on their robot vacuums, so Roblox will probably have both options, the S7 without the front-facing camera, and probably like S7 Max V with the uh, front-facing camera, but that's later on. So in this video, we'll just do the S7 here. And it's not a bad robot despite not having the front-facing camera, it's actually a really good navigator, which I will show in this video. Okay, let's go and keep spinning around here. Now, both these robot vacuums do have the little uh, exhaust fin. So both robots do have electronically controlled bopping systems and they have the water tanks in the back here. And the water tanks are almost identical in size. This is just like a 300 milliliter water tank. I believe this is like 290 milliliters. I will put the exact specs right here. Now, they both announce when their mopping plate and water tank gets removed. Mop bracket removed. Switching to vacuum mode. So you can see that the S6 Max V has its mopping bracket attached to the water tank when you remove it. Whereas the S7, water tank removed. It's separate, and then you can also remove the mopping bracket as well. Mop mount removed. And notice the instructions down here and the little vibrating uh, mechanism, very, very nice. Alright, so you guys notice the difference here. I do like the fact that Roblox does include instructions. So if you forget how to like maintain your uh, mopping system, they kind of tell you some helpful hints. Very, very nice. And I think that the weight here is noticeable on the S7. It's a little bit heavier. So that should help with the mopping performance. So both Roblox vacuums are pretty good cleaners. They do a pretty good job on hardwood floors. So let's go and up the challenge and put some powder on my medium profile carpet. Starting with the S7, it has an all silicone extractor bar design. This is new to Roblox, but what's nice about the silicone brush, it's really easy to remove the pet hair, and both Roblox vacuums are running on its max power mode, around 2500 pascals. Also, I have these Roblox vacuums set to run tries, so it does this crisscross pattern. The S7 did a pretty good job with this color serial test, probably picking up about 95%, doing a little bit better than S6 Max V. It's probably on par with the original S4, which sat pretty low. The only downside to the S4 was it struggled on high profile carpet, but I didn't see any issues with the S7. It did a good job. Also with the Skittles, I was able to pick up 100% of the Skittles. Now let's go ahead and check out the S6 Max V. Same similar test where it runs on tries. And you can see that it's kind of struggling with this powder challenge. Um, it wasn't able to pick as much powder as on the S7 did. So just for my testing, um, I do recommend running the roll vacuums multiple times in a given area to help achieve better results. Uh, you think you can run up to three times in a certain area, so that's a nice touch from Roblox, and I do appreciate the crisscross pattern. Now let's go ahead and try a different challenge, that serial challenge with the S6 Max V, and it did a lot better. Didn't do as well as the S7, but I think it was able to achieve a better result, probably around 90% or so. So if you want a really good clean robot, I think the S7 is the winner here. Um, but both robot vacuums did a fair job on hardwood floors, and this carpet challenge was definitely a challenge, but I think the robot vacuum did as good as they supposed to do. Now for the Skittles, uh, the S6 Max V achieved 100%, very similar to like what the S7 achieved. Okay, let's see how much both robot vacuums picked up. 
Um, it was hard to tell, but the S7 picked up slightly more than the S6 Max V. But you can see that they both picked up the right of debris from the powder to the cereal to also the Skittles. So I give a thumbs up to both robots. I don't think you can go wrong with either one. They're both excellent cleaners and top in their class. Okay, so one issue is with the S7's dustbin. Even though it's fairly easy to move, like on the S6 Max V, I find that the opening is a little bit small, so it makes it a little bit harder to empty out all the contents in one go around. So I did have to shake it a few times to get all the contents, and it does make it a little bit harder to get all that dirt and debris with a uh, vacuum tool. Alright, so let's go ahead and see how well these raw vacuums actually navigate in like an open floor plan. So I put some obstacles down. I have like a pedestal, I have a uh, bathroom scale, also have a power strip. And the S6 Max V does have its reactive AI enabled. You can see it kind of went around the bathroom scale and also kind of noticed the power cable, then kind of forgot about it. But it did a good job recognizing the shoe. So the downside with the S6 Max V is it has a fairly narrow field of view. So it has to be facing in front of the object for it to recognize it. But once it's facing it, for the most part, it was able to recognize these objects. Luckily, the S6 Max V is a pretty smart robot. It was able to figure out how to untangle itself from the power cable. But one thing to remember is if you want a deeper clean, I do recommend turning out the reactive AI so the robot vacuum get closer to the objects. But if you kind of leave for the day and you forget that you left some shoes on the ground, well, maybe it's best to leave the reactive AI on. So it looks like my daughter wanted to join the video, so she kind of went to frame there if you were catching that. But she enjoys watching me film. And you can see that the Royal Vacuum took an alternate route. Let's go ahead and check out the results here. So it looks like it did a fair job, did leave a lot of dirt and debris around the objects. So that's probably the fault of the reactive AI since the Royal Vacuum will leave a fair amount of space between the objects so it can uh, not hit those objects. But if I turn out the reactive AI, it should do it done a better job. So let's go and uh, check out the Roblox S7, see if it does a better job, and see if it can uh, clean near or closer to those objects. So the S7 uses the exact same cleaning pattern as the S6 Max V, where it starts with the perimeter, then it fills in that perimeter with a back and forth cleaning pattern. Now if you have it set to two or three times, we have to do a crisscross method, which I really do appreciate. So it allows it to get to different angles. Now you notice that the S7 actually goes around the pedestal a lot closer, and was able to move the uh, power strip a lot more, but it didn't get hung up, luckily. Now, one thing to remember is to pick up those shoestrings, because these will have vacuums love to suck them up, and they will get kind of tangled up, so that's just something to remember. Okay, Joe, so just after one pass, looks like the S7 did a lot better than the S6 Max V, and you notice that crisscross pattern, and the will have vacuum did a good job going around those objects, even though it kind of moved the objects more than what the S6 Max V did, but I can't complain. I'd much rather have the will have vacuum clean close to the object, then to completely avoid the object and leave a giant mess. All right, so once the S7 is done, it's gonna go back to its docking station. And don't worry about where the docking station is located. It's pretty smart going around those objects. All right, so let's go and have a look here. So you can see near the bathroom scale, there's only like one or two Lucky Charm bits. And near the shoe there, there may be one or two. So it actually did a really good job there. And around that pedestal, you can see there's maybe one or two there as well. But for the most part, I I think it did a really good job, a lot better than what the S6 Max V did. But so good job, S7. Um, you're definitely a winner in my book. All right, so we're not done yet. There's actually some differences in the apps. Let's go ahead and check those out. Let's go ahead and check out the app here. Now, they both share a lot of the same app features, and I won't go over everything, but I'll just highlight the differences. Um, they both share the Roblox app. Um, unfortunately, the S7 doesn't pair up with the Mi Home app anymore. Um, that's just something to know. But I think you can still do that with the S6 Max V. Now, both the Roblox backrooms can support multi floor plans. They both support four maps. So, what's nice about it is you can physically move the robot to a different level and it will actually update in real time and you don't have to make sure you're on the same map or same level. So if that makes sense, it's really easy for the user and in practice, it's it's almost idiot proof. Okay, let's go and uh, go to the Roblox S7 here. And the layout on both is almost identical. You get the colored maps and all that fun stuff. But let me just highlight the differences. Now, if you go to uh, carpet settings, that's new to the S7 is there's a couple of new uh, icons. You got the rise, which was the ultrasonic carpet sensor. Yes, this thing actually has a dedicated sensor for carpet. It's right here. It's that little hole right there. It will actually lift up its mopping pad. Uh, about five millimeters. Great for low profile carpet and rubber mats in your bathrooms. Now for medium to high profile carpets, uh, I do recommend using the no mopping zone, which the S6 Max V does have. 
Also, you got Carpet Boost, which both the uh, backups do have. And Ignore allows the S7 to keep its mopping pad down if you wanted to, like, mop the uh, rubber match or something. Okay, so that's the main feature of the S7 that's different. And one thing I did notice that in the actual uh, edit map, I actually don't see sequencing. That's something that the S6 Max V does have. I did reach out to Roblox and ask them about that. Hopefully, they include that in a future update. So basically what sequencing is, is you can actually select different rooms. So that would make sense for the S7. So I do have a little higher profile carpet in my bedroom. So I would do a no mopping zone, but I would like the robot vacuum to start with my uh, bathroom first and then go ahead and do my uh, bedroom and stuff. So that's just something that hopefully they include in a later uh, feature update. Okay, so the last thing that the S7 will have is once you get the self emptying bin, that's compatible to the S7 and beyond, um, it will probably have an icon that has some features for the self emptying system. Alright, let's go and jump to the S6 Max V. Um, the noticeable feature is this little icon right here, kind of looks like a camera system, um, or yeah, kind of looks like a camera, I don't know. Kind of an interesting little icon. But yes, this does have the live streaming oh, capabilities. And you can see my jolly face there. Let me turn you guys around here. Yep. Let me live stream on this way. This looks a cool angle shot. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm just live streaming for my Roblox S6 Max V. This is just craziness. Who would have thought that I could just do this with my robot? Cool. I think this is awesome. I think it's better than my DSLR camera. So I'm going to start using this as my main camera. Okay, so yes, so you notice that annoying uh, voice there, yes, it, the robot will let you know that it's recording so it doesn't scare people, can't spy on people. Also, there's a little red indicator that flashes red letting you know it's recording. So, yeah, I wish you could turn that off, but unfortunately, due to privacy concerns, you can't do that. Okay, okay, so one nice feature is both the robot vacuums do have the remote control feature, and they both work on Wi-Fi and cellular, but with that live video stream, you can actually control it better when you're away. Okay, so one nice thing is you do have the map, you can actually tell it to go to a certain area. Now if I zoom in here, you actually can see these little icons. This is what the camera recognizes, the pedestal and power strip, and this is an unknown object. So you got messaging, um, you can actually tell it to uh, say something. Alright, so the other difference is in the settings here, pertaining to the front facing camera. Let's go and jump into that. Now with the camera function, you actually have a few options. You got reactive AI object recognition. So with that, it actually will recognize certain objects in its database, like shears, also recognizes pet poo, also um, pedestals, and it will actually show up on the map. You see it's like a little shoe indicator right there. That's what the reactive AI object recognition will do. But you do have the option to turn that off. So if you're not worried about like a messy floor plan, I recommend turning that off because the robot will get closer to the objects and clean a little bit better around them. Now, optical photos uh, will actually take a picture of that object they recognize and will display on the smartphone. So that's a nice feature if you kind of figure out, okay, where was the troubled areas and where did these objects uh, pop up at. Also, pet details. Yes, if you have a, a case of pet poo laying around or if an accidental pet poo, uh, turn that on and the robot vacuum will do its best to recognize it. It's not the most... Uh, accurate or 100% efficient, but it's just an added piece of mind. So this is kind of like the collision mitigation on your car. It's designed for like a backup, but it's not really designed for a 100% uh, fails-proof system. Okay, let's go and uh, scroll down here. You got remote viewing again. That gives you the live camera feed. It does work in both color and black and white, and it does let you know that um, it's recording and it will announce that. Unfortunately, you cannot uh, minimize it or turn it off. Maybe down the future, Roblox will allow you to do that, but for now, you can't do that. And you can add some security features, like a power unlock, so you have to put in a passcode to enable that feature, which is a nice little feature. Okay, and that's basically everything with the S6 Max V, and everything else is very, very similar to the both models. So if you like this video, please give me a great old thumbs up, please just help out this video. Also, if you're new to my channel, welcome, my name's Nathan, this is Roadmasters, and stay tuned because I got a lot of great products coming down the pipeline. I got the Narwa, yes, Narwa is coming back, it's craziness. So go ahead and uh, search that up, but basically it's a self-cleaning well, vacuum, and it's been out for a while, but I guess they're coming back from the dead. Also, I mean the new Ecovax, it's, I think it's the N8 Plus Pro. It has some new features, but I'll let you guys know once that gets released, and I have it here in the studio. So, some new products, I won't disclose yet, but I'll keep it a surprise. So, again, thanks so much for watching. You guys have a great rest of your day. I'll see you guys next time, and have some fun out there. Be safe out there, and see you later.